Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we'll compare the regression results of SPSS in MS. So first of all, we will go in the SPSS file. Now in this data set, we are having the current salary of an employee. We are having the beginning salary, job time, that is the employee is with us from how many months, the previous experience of the employee, the education of the employee. We want to see that these variables, does it affect the current salary or not? So for this, we will go in Analyze, Regression, Linear. I will make the current salary as a dependent variable. Then I will transfer the education level, beginning salary, months since hired, previous experience and click OK. So we got the results. You can see here the unstandardized coefficient, the education level, beginning salary, months since hired, and previous experience. Moreover, the R square is also here. Now this same model we will develop in MS. So first of all, I'll bring this employee data file here. Click OK. Now activate this and First of all, bring the dependent variable that is salary. Now pick up the salary begin one, then the job time two, previous experience three, and the education level four. Connect this with the parts one, two, three. Now, as this current salary is an endogenous variable, we will have to place a error term on it. So, place a error term on it. Plugins, name the unobserved variable. Now, you go in the analysis properties. Make sure you activate estimate means and intercept. And in output, standardized estimates should be activated. Squared multiple correlations should be activated. Now, by clicking on this uh, means and error intercept, it will give me mean and intercept of all the error terms, the circle one. Now, run it. So, it, it gives me the warning that you have not covaried the independent variables which are salary begin with job time and salary begin with previous experience, salary begin with education, job time with previous experience. So, you should simply Click on proceed with the analysis. It will ask the destination where you want to save this file. Let's say I'll save it in a D drive. Name is employee data. The model, uh, the model runs successfully. Now click on the up arrow. And you can see the unstandardized estimates which are there. And when you will click on standardized estimates, you will get this. Now let's compare. The output which is generated in MS with the output which is there in SPSS software. So I will minimize the MS software to compare both the results. You can see here the R square it is 0.81 and here it is 0.79. You can see this. This is R square. Now pay attention on the standardized coefficient 0.113 which is for education level. So you can go here, it is 0.12, more or less nearer to it. Beginning salary, 0 0.815. So it is 0 0.87. Months since hire, 0 0.095, 0 0.10. Previous experience, minus 0 0.106, very nearer to it, 0 0.111. Now this will be generated when you, uh, when you click on this standardized estimates, this is for this one and squared multiple correlation is for the r square squared multiple correlation is for this r square so make sure that you tick mark both of them now let's activate the unstandardized estimates right and press up arrow okay now just see that the beginning salary is affecting the current salary that is increase in beginning salary by one dollar will increase your current salary by 1.77 same as the thing here. It is 1.768. Just see here. 
right? Now, months since higher, with every increase in one month of an employee, the current salary increases by 161.49. Same is the same result I got it here, 161.486. Previous experience, with every increase in the previous experience by one month, my current salary drops by $17. So it is minus 17.303. In some industries, the previous experience has got a negative effect on the current salary. It can happen. Education level. With, with the increase in education level by one year, the current salary increases by $669.91. So this is $669.91. Now let's talk about this intercept. Minus 16149. Where is it? So it is here. Minus 16149. 16149. Now the same result you will also get in the tabular format. Like here. Go in the estimates. You can minimize it. Now compare these values of critical ratio with the T statistics. Critical ratio is same as the T statistics. So let us pick up the first one. Salary begin and its effect on salary. Critical ratio is 40.723 and it's three star. It, is, it means that it is quite significant and this is 1.768. So 1.768 T here is 30. Triple one. So there is a little bit difference is there. Moreover, P value is less than 0 0.05. It means that this is significant. Let's talk about the job time. Critical ratio is 4.758. And there are three stars. It means it is significant. So job time. So it's months since hired. It is 4.715. And here it is 4.753. Previous experience, minus 5.295. And three stars is there. It means that it is significant. Let's check it here. Previous experience, it is minus 4.905, more or less nearer to each other. Now, let's talk about the education, 5.654. And here, the education is 4.045. So, it is significant here also. And you can compare the estimates, 161.486, 161.486, minus 17.303, minus 17.303. 669.915, 669.914. Where will I get the intercept? So the intercept is here. You can scroll. This is your intercept, which you can confirm in your spaces out also. As the intercept is same. Your R square, which is squared multiple correlation. Here it is 0 0.786. It is your R square. And this you will get it here. So this is your R square, which you will get in MS here. So we are getting the same results of regression in SPSS and MS. For more videos on SPSS MS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.